Good evening to all. High voltage engineering. It is a subject given for 7th semester triple E students. In Anna University Regulation 2017, subject code is EE8701. In 2013 regulation, subject code is EE6701. There is no greater change in the syllabus. Both are looking common. In this video lecture, we are going to know unit wise important question for slow learners. I have taken Previous Anna University question papers of November, December 2019-21, April, May 2019. Unit 1 is Over Voltages in Electrical Power System. I have considered 6 questions as important. First one, what are the mechanisms by which lightning strokes develop and induce over voltage on overhead power lines? What are the sources of switching surges? Question number 2 is, explain clearly with necessary equation the theory and advantages of Bewley's lattice diagram. Sometime. Problem also asked from Bewley's lattice, lattice diagram. Question number three is what are the causes for switching and power frequency over voltages? How are they controlled in power system? List out the problems caused by corona discharges. Fourth question is consider an overhead transmission line connected to a cable. Obtain the expression of reflection and refraction of traveling waves at the junction. What is tower footing resistance? Discuss two methods to reduce their resistance. This resistance. Question number five is give the mathematical model for lightning discharges and uh, explain them. And the last one explain different methods employed for lightning protection of overhead lines. In this six questions, question number one, two, three, and six are provided with a red color background. Students should not avoid this question. Unit two is dielectric breakdown. All are having subdivisions. Question number one, define corona discharge. Explain clearly in the previous, that is in unit one important questions. Uh, here I have typed wrongly about corona discharge. That is coming under second unit. Define corona discharge. Explain clearly anode and cathode coronas. Explain state, also state its advantages and disadvantages. See the marks split up first one three mark next one ten mark. It was asked in previous Anna University question paper. Question number two is explain thermal breakdown in solid dielectrics seven mark and another six mark is how this thermal breakdown is more significant than the other mechanisms. Question number three is derive the expression for current growth equation in a uniform field due to Townsend's first and second ionization process and thereby deduce the Condition for breakdown of gaseous dielectrics. Question number four is explain the intrinsic breakdown mechanism in solid dielectrics. Also explain how breakdown occurs due to internal discharges in a solid dielectrics. Question number five is what are the different mechanism of breakdown in vacuum? Explain any one in detail. And the last question explain the suspended particle mechanism of breakdown in commercial liquid dielectrics. Dear students, in this six, don't avoid question number three and four. Two also, uh, two provided in red color outer line mark. This is also important. Question unit number three: generation of high voltages and high currents. Here I have taken five questions as important. Question number one provided with subdivisions. First five mark explain clearly the basic principle of operation of an electrostatic generator. And another seven mark describe with neat diagram the principle of operation. Application and limitations of 1D graph generator. Question number 2. In red color outer line, it is very important. Draw equivalent circuit of a 3 stage cascaded transformer and explain its working. Determine the expression for short circuit impedance of the cascaded transformer. Hence deduce an expression for the short circuit impedance of an N stage cascaded transformer. Question number 3. Explain the working principle of Cockcroft Walton voltage multiplier circuit under no load and loaded conditions. Subdivision 2. Derive an expression for total voltage drop and the total ripple voltage of an N stage voltage multiplier circuit and hence deduce the condition for optimum number of stages. Question number 4. Again it is divided into two. First one. From the basic mark circuit developed the modern multi-stage impulse generator circuits and explain the significance of its various parameters. Subdivision 2. Explain the principle of operation of resonant transformer for generating high alternating voltages. Question number 5 also divided into 2. First subdivision explain the working principle of parallel resonant transformer already given. 
explain the working principle of cascade transformer for producing very high ac voltage this is also given already dear students in this way not only 2 3 4 first one also important unit 4 is measurement of high voltages and high currents for this unit also taken five important questions 3 4 5 it should not be avoided but overall all are important first one explain how dc high voltage can be measured using series ammeter second one explain with neat diagram the principle of operation of an electrostatic voltmeter discuss its advantages and limitations for high voltage measurements draw the simplified equivalent circuit of a resistance potential divider question number three describe the working principle and operation of generating voltmeter for measuring high dc voltage with the phaser diagram explain how a tuned capacitance voltage transformer can be used for high alternating voltage measurements in power system fourth one with an equivalent circuit and its step response discuss how are resistance capacitance and mixed rc potential dividers used for impulse voltage measurement explain the arrangement used to minimize the errors in each case question number five explain with neat diagram how a spear gap can be used to measure the peak value of voltages what are the parameters and factors that influence such voltage measurements question three four five these questions should not be avoided by the student unit five is high voltage testing and insulation coordination only four questions considered so my suggestion to students is kindly read all these questions but don't avoid number two and four first question write a short note on the cable sample preparation before it is subjected to various tests explain briefly the various tests to be carried out on a bushing question number two describe the various tests to be carried out on a circuit breaker and isolator why i am saying question number two is important means if you read various tests to be carried out in circuit breaker and various tests to be carried out in isolator means it will cover uh, minimum 60 percent of the syllabus so it will save you from any kind of questions you can answer question number three with an, with an eight circuit diagram explain the procedure of synthetic testing of a circuit breaker if you read question number two it will be covered also give its advantages over other testing methods for short circuit test discuss the arrangement procedure and the specification of water for conducting impulse voltage with withstand test on insulator Question number four, discuss the arrangement and detailed procedure for impulse voltage testing of power transformer. It is very, very important. Explain the procedure adapted for detection and the location of fault in a transformer during impulse testing. This is also important. Dear students, while listening this lecture, you can understand how the mark is splitted and the high voltage engineering paper is fully provided with the split up questions. Good luck. Thank you all.